Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for September 30th of 2024 is titled Comet Chushinchan Atlas over Mexico. So what do we see here? Well, here we see the comet in the sky and a relatively new comet just visible and in fact just at the edge of naked eye visibility. So don't go out yet without a pair of binoculars or a small telescope and expect to be able to see it. It's right on the edge of naked eye visibility at this point and it's quite possible that it could pass close that when it passes closer to Earth in a couple of weeks, it could actually brighten a little bit more and may be visible in the sky without any kind of visual aids. So this is an example of a comet and comets are notoriously hard to predict how bright they'll become. And that's because a comet is essentially a ball of ice with various materials mixed in with it. Now when that comet gets close to the sun, the parts of it get vaporized. And then that forms the head and the tail of the comet, which are the material that we actually see. So the solid nucleus of the comet is completely invisible to us. And we have only been able to see that in cases where spacecraft are sent out to a comet to study it. In this case, we're just seeing the material that is expelled from that nucleus. So we don't know the details of the nucleus or if it will be able to be enough material that it will brighten even more or if it will start to fade. And that's something we really won't know until it happens. So a chance to be able to see this and in this case an image taken from a drone up above the clouds since there's too many clouds down below in order to see it you get up above and can take several images as we're done in this case and though then merge those together to make the comet even more visible. So that highlights the visibility of the comet compared to what you would have regularly seen with the camera or with your eye. Now comets come into the inner solar system every certain amount of time. They orbit around the sun just like the planets do. The difference is that they have highly elliptical orbits, meaning that they come in close to the sun and spend a very short amount of their time close to the sun and then spend most of their time out deeper in the solar system. And that is part of Kepler's second law of planetary motion, which says Um, In essence, that planets will move quickly when they're close to the sun and move slowly when they are farther away from the sun. So while that applies to planets, the idea also applies to comets as well. Now for planets, it doesn't make a big difference because the planetary orbits are roughly circular. They're slightly elliptical, but almost circles. Cometary orbits, on the other hand, are very elliptical, so it is much more extreme. So a comet like Halley's Comet, which has a period of 76 years, may only spend a year or so in the inner part of the solar system and spend decades out in the outer depths of the solar system. So we will watch over the coming weeks to see how this comet brightens and if it becomes visible without additional aids. So that was our picture of the day for September 30th of 2024. It was titled Comet Chuchinchan Atlas over Mexico. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, preview to be Black Hole Jet. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.